This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey guys, what is up? Back in another video. Hope everyone is having an amazing day today. It's January 21st and it's raining outside again today, which is ridiculous. But we have a sneaker unboxing right here from Champ Sports. I am super excited for these. We also have another pair of sneakers we're looking at. We're also doing a whole bunch of other crazy stuff you guys are going to have to wait and see. So if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But I think we got to get inside and crack these guys open. So as I was saying, Yesterday, this showed up in the mail and I haven't had a chance to open it yet. Judging by the tape, I'm gonna put some money on the fact that it's from Champ Sports, but past that, I have no idea what it is. I love sneaker unboxings, and I especially love mystery sneaker unboxings. And as always, you guys know, we're opening it up with the Mike's Hard Lemonade key. Now, I don't drink Mike's Hard Lemonade. In fact, I don't even drink, but this key is laying around the house, so this is what I use. And I am excited because the last few shoes that Champ Sports has sent me have been amazing. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. At the, there were times during the Champ Sports Influencer Program that they sent some questionable sneakers. Like the Jordan Academy, I was not a fan of those. And they sent some ZX Fluxes that you guys never even saw on the channel. Except they've sent Kobe's, they've sent Timberlands, they've sent, wow, they've sent a lot of great sneakers. KD9s. And what have they sent? Okay, this is interesting. Some special packaging. And it looks like Champ Sports sent me a bag of money. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, there's a shoebox inside here, except this is a burlap sack with a dollar sign on it. Maybe Champ Sports sent me a shoebox full of money. I would not be complaining. Like, shoes are nice, but a shoebox full of money is nicer than a shoebox full of shoes. I think we would all agree. So I don't know what's inside here. It's heavy. So it might be a pair of boots. It might be a pair of old basketball shoes. If it was like Amor Up Tempos, I'd be extremely happy, but I really don't know what this is. So let's crack this open. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. I think I might know what these are now. I think I might actually know what these are. Uh, these are, wow, this is a fancy looking box too. First they sent me a burlap sack full of cash. Then this box looks just as nice as the bag. This is a Champ Sports and Timberland collaboration, and it's limited edition. It says so right on the side there. So Champ Sports sent me limited sneakers. Possibly Champ Sports sent me a box full of money. That would also be a title. The most expensive sneaker unboxing in YouTube history. That might be an option as well, because guess what? Money is expensive and money is on the bag. So that must mean it's the most expensive sneaker unboxing in YouTube history. I am excited. We're going to get a first look at these at the exact same. Oh, it's the DJ Khaled collab. I love these things. So here is a little informational card thanking me for being awesome. You're welcome, Champ Sports. I am awesome. I know. Now, this is my first time ever looking at these. I want to close my eyes. I'm going to let you guys see first. Guys, how are they? Let me know. They're good? Really? They look good? Sweet. Oh. They do look, whoa, wow. Okay, check this out. Woo! Look how nice these are. Look how freaking nice these are. Gold aglets, gold there, this really nice deep money green. You got the gum bottom, you got extra laces right here with gold aglets on them. You got this nice little wax stamp right there for the Timberland logo. These are wow. Like seriously guys, let's just take a minute to appreciate how nice, they I don't think you appreciate how nice these are. These are, this is just a well done shoe and this is coming from someone that DJ Khaled annoys them. Like I, I skimmed through his book, not a good book. These, this is a good shoe, so good job DJ Khaled. I have never been a fan of you up until now because this is a nice pair of boots. And you know what else is nice? I'm actually doing a live stream the day that this video is posted on Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. I'm gonna be putting a link down in the description. It's a really awesome live stream. We're gonna be talking about some really awesome stuff. I'd suggest you guys go join it. It's on a cool program where you guys can actually be part of the live stream and like be up on stage with me and talk to the audience with me, which is crazy. Just as crazy as these. Whew, like, what a nice pair of sneakers. Seriously guys, check these out. You got that right there, which is amazing. This suede is amazing, buttery suede. The color is just great. Gold aglets, that wax stamp, which looks amazing. These are leather laces, which is amazing. Just such a clean looking sneaker. Check these out, seriously. Good job, Timberland. Good job, Champ Sports. I don't know if DJ Khaled had anything to do with the design process of these, but if he did, good job, DJ Khaled. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, I'm not a big DJ Khaled fan, except I appreciate this. 
they sent me a key, a major key, a big key, and it says, we know game, we the best. Uh, I am the best. I already know that champ sports, so thank you for confirming my beliefs. But this is this is sort of funny. I could uh, I don't know what I could do with this, but now I have a gold key if I ever need a gold key. So these are sick. I don't know what else to say about these. I will be show oh the back of this is denim too. I don't know why I care about that because it's just a hang tag that I'm not gonna wear. This is a very, very well done pair of shoes. Good job, champ sports. Speaking of some of the best shoes, I bought these yesterday. If you guys watched yesterday's video, if you didn't, I really recommend going and checking it out. One of the Craziest basketball games of all time is in that video. Also, I had a little bit of fun talking about these and getting some other people's opinions of these. But I wanted to give you guys a closer look of them, so I'm gonna do that right now. So my favorite things about this shoe is the OG colorway, that's obviously one. Another one is they, they, the construction is great and the new buck is really good. Now, I'm surprised that I'm saying this because usually foam pauses just have the same regular old new buck and it's just eh, it's not really good, it's not really bad, it's just eh. This new buck, feels a lot nicer than any other foam posit that I have in my collection. Now, I don't know if it just feels that way or if it actually is nicer. Maybe they wanted to do better materials considering this is the OG colorway. Another thing I love about these, you can wear them for 15 years straight and they're still gonna look great. And there's also 3M on the tongue, which I didn't notice. I heard nothing about this, but there is 3M laced throughout the tongue. So if you put a flash on it, it's just gonna go bam and it's gonna look really, really nice. But I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of the foam posit one in this 20th anniversary royal colorway. I am a huge fan of them. I am going to be showing you guys an on-foot look of these, but I actually do need to get going somewhere right now, so I will do that when I get back home. If you guys want to see the on-foot look, stay tuned for later in the video. I've already tried them on, and they look amazing. As much as Matt and I hang out, I haven't seen his varsity basketball team play once all season. They have a tournament this weekend, we don't have a tournament this weekend, so I actually have a little bit of time to come watch them. Speaking of tournaments, we haven't had a single tournament all year so far, we've only had three games. Lots of teams have had like 12 games. We have the most back heavy schedule I've ever seen in high school basketball. Like we had. We have five games the first half of the season, and then like 17 games the second half of the season, which is just crazy. It's gonna be like game, 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 game. Lots of games. I know basically all of the kids on Matt's team there are great guys. I love watching them play. Some really talented players on the team. They've been having a really rough season though. Injuries, just unlucky breaks in games and stuff, so hopefully they get the win today. <laughs> Get that far. Half MBCI was up by what were they up by like? Huh? 15? 10? Uh, they're up by more than three is what yeah, I'm trying to say. Like 15 at least. Now they're up by three. Why are they only up by three, you may ask? Because they played like the worst 1-3-1 zone defense I've ever seen in my life. The worst. The and worst. MBCI completely fell apart. It's called it's something called free mind basketball. Not learning how to do a damn play. Read and react, boys. Read and react. Yes, LeBron! Good job, Will! That's good, G! Good job, Par! Mitch, just go up! What's that, God? Yeah! Did NBCI win? NBCI won. Pretty good game. I thought I honestly thought they were gonna choke in the second half. 
They didn't choke in the second half. They were pretty nice. What they win by? Ten? They should have actually won by thirty-five. Matt, like, I, I didn't get to see it. Like, they played so good. Yeah, I know. No. It was great. <laughs> How's it going, man? Your game, bud. Yeah, it was fun. No, I didn't even see you until now. Where How's the statue, coach? What a part half. It's part right. 28? Like part, part 32. 32? 32 and 10. Good job, Partop. Bye, coaches. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Yeah, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Woo! Okay. Made it back home. Back in my basketball shorts as usual, basically, as soon as I get home every single day, I'm back in basketball shorts. Why? Because they're way more comfortable than wearing pants in the house. So uh, I'm not a big sweats guy, I'm a basketball shorts guy. That's what I wear. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope you did enjoy yourself watching this video. As always, I appreciate all you guys watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And I did promise that I would bring you guys an on-foot look of these guys at the end of the video. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Congratulations to Matt and Mark. You guys, or your team, played a great game well coached game congratulations to all the guys on NBCI I love you guys let's see what these things look like on feet and I'll catch you tomorrow with a brand new video so until then peace